Chuki got the sauce, bitch. This right here though, this desk is the star of the show. Anthro Desk, if you guys don't know Anthro Desk, I will leave their link down below for you guys. Uh, they have sent me out this beautiful piece of walnut 30 by 60, is it 60? 48, I'm glad I checked it. It's 30 by 48 and this whole thing goes up and down. Are you, hold on now, check this out. It can go pretty low. I don't think I've ever had it this low before, but hey, I mean, if I really needed it to, I mean, they could work if you wanted to kneel for a bit. Or actually on Amazon, you guys can pick this up. There will be a link down below for you guys to check out uh, if you are interested in picking up your own Anthro desk. The reason why it's here is that if I am sitting here, say, I can actually look over at my TV over there and watch some TV. But this is just, you know, it's a great thing, especially if you're working for long periods of time, which I am, right? I'm always down here, I'm always working, I'm always editing. So when, you know, I'm sitting on my rig for a while, I come back down here, I don't wanna sit, right? I don't wanna sit again after just sitting for an hour racing. So that's why it's nice that I got my floor mat, I can just stand and I can edit like it's a regular day, right? So it definitely does give you that more healthier lifestyle than just sitting all the time it's not good for you shouldn't be doing it you need to be mobile you need to be exercising and just moving around throughout the day now, it's a pretty sweet looking setup to be honest with you we got our three poles we got one there one there and then one there drills right up to the desk so it's really secure it's really stable we run all of our cables straight down uh, to kind of connect to each other right it's not the perfect cable management setup but for right now it will do uh, and then i just have everything running back there we're not gonna worry about that side and the width of the desk actually Super nice. This is live wood, if I'm not mistaken. It's live edge. I could be wrong on this, but uh, it's definitely nice. Always hunchback in it sometimes, right? So you gotta remember to sit up, posture, right? And this desk is definitely going to, you know, help that lifestyle and help that message a lot more. So I'm really thankful to Anthro Desk for sending this out. I'm happy to be able to take a break whenever I really want and stand up, right? Sometimes I was just finding myself walking around to just stand up and just, you know, be active. So now they had the oak and they had the walnut. Um, I went with the walnut to be honest with you. I kind of liked it. I figured it fit really nice and then that's the, the desk. So it can be done at a couple different positions just to make your life a little bit easier. So anthrodesk.ca, link will be found down below for you guys. Check that out. But we do have programmable buttons. We have mode one, mode two, and home. So I can actually set both of these uh, to just go quickly if I needed to. So I wanna set these up so I can set it when I'm sitting and then when I'm standing instead of having to do this manually. So I can just hit you know, mode one or mode two and it'll just go right to where I want it to go. So I'm gonna try this out. All right, so let's just say we wanted to save this height that we're sitting at right now. So you guys can see uh, it's pretty big. It's actually higher than my TV right here. I'm standing 
as I am right now and I can pretty much see everything. I got a good, you know, kind of arm rest here as well too. So if I wanted to save this, it's very simple. We're just gonna come over to here. You set your desired height that you're gonna be looking for and all you're gonna need to do is hold this button until you get a beat. Mode one. And that means that now we are set to 110 if I wanted to raise it up. So now if I'm sitting, let's bring this down. We're gonna bring it down to probably about what, 85 maybe? And then we're gonna go ahead and save this mode on here as well. Check this out, we're gonna hit mode one. And it's just gonna do its thing because we've already saved it and set it up. How cool is that? Anthro desk. It's in the description box down below, man. This is super sick, I love it. 2019 room setup, right? Not bad at all, man. We're pretty much done. If you guys want a quick tour, I know it was a kind of a montage style at the start, uh, but right, we have our PlayStation side of things right here. So this is the PlayStation rig, and this is gonna be getting an upgrade as well too. So I can't tell you what's getting upgraded, but uh, we're gonna be doing some big things very soon on this rig. Uh, we do have my microphone right here, same as what I had before that can either swivel this side or to the right, depending on what rig I'm playing on. This monitor right here is actually duplicating that monitor on my Mac. And then as we roll through to the right here, uh, this setup is for my Xbox and my PC. And then we have the Fanatic rig right here with the Club Sport add-on, full pedals with the uh, wheel stand chair at the back right there custom brandon look at that side right there man huge thank you wheel stand pro my pegboard i'm really happy about this i got this from ikea i can still get more things to add on to here i do want to get a couple more of these little buckets that we can put stuff in uh, and then these glass containers here want to get a few more storage areas a few more of these pegs so i can hang a few more things but really cool got it from ikea that's the pegboard right not bad i maybe want to get a second one right here i don't know really what i'm putting there yet but uh, we just have a lot of cables, charging equipment, camera lenses, and then all of our extra wheels and stuff that I've showed you guys. Our cabinets, Metal Gear Solid guys, right? I love them. Fast and the Furious collection, just name badges, uh, you know, sponsor kind of shelf down here with a lot of the things. And then we just got a couple lighting areas. Now these lights that I got back here, I showed you them before. I want to mount them somewhere. Um, they're big, they're bright, but it's just, it's hard right now to mount them. So this is a nice little uh, sitting exercise ball. I personally love it. It takes a lot of the stress off sitting on a chair. Uh, we got some paintings that I put up there on the wall. Uh, and then as we move into my secondary kind of office in here this is more the lounging section uh we're gonna get a little bit more into hockey so hopefully you guys do like hockey but i have been on the grind with uh jersey breaks on facebook and i have got quite the collection so far of jerseys all signed uh really happy about this collection to be honest with you john tavares we have ryan getzlav this is a really cool third jersey adidas pro 25th anniversary ducks jersey brian mckay from the leafs legend Hornquist, National Predators, CCM Coho jersey. This is a beautiful jersey. It's thick. One of my prized possessions, Sidney Crosby, right? Come on, man, that's a huge jersey. Wayne Gretzky, all-star, 92 jersey, limited edition, nine of 99. This is actually getting framed, and that's gonna be getting put on the wall right on the other side of this. So we got Stammer. Daryl Sittler back there and Taylor Hall. I got a couple others once uh, the Skretsky goes away. I got Jeremy Roenick going up on the wall too. So really cool stuff, a lot of jerseys. Doug Gilmore, Pronger, Sackick, Tuck, right? List goes on. We got the studio, the setup over here. And then it just kind of goes into my 55 inch on the wall. Xbox down there as well too. So I can actually run the Xbox on this TV if I wanted to. A couple of uh, collectors. We got the Ed Belfour mask, the mini mask with the Patrick Waugh. And we got a couple of cups every NHL game in the series, right? I'm a big NHL fan, as you guys can see. Wendell Clark, sign bottle. And then these are my other two prized possessions right here. Mary Lemieux, Yarmir Yager, both signed. Got the Art Ross with the points. Look at that. That's crazy, man. And then up above it, my other prized possession is my goalie pitcher here. Belfour, signature and inscription. Cujo, sig and inscription. Pop Van and Mike Palmatier at the bottom there. This is my newest addition which is a game used signed by Darcy Tucker himself uh, stick that I ended up grabbing on Facebook. Really cool, I wanna get a picture of him using this stick and then put it up on there, but game used, man. My first game used stick, I like it. All right, so we got the lounging area on here. We got a stereo, we got N64, whatever you need, Xbox. 
And then as you move it along here, we got the jersey brakes, and then we move into the studio. Man, this is where the work gets done on this side. Wait, what the hell did I just step on? Oh, hey, but that's gonna do it for today, though. Huge thank you, Anthro Desk. Like I said, their link will be found down below. Star of the show today, man. This desk, I love it. Build quality is to perfection. And uh, right, I don't have anything negative to say about this desk, man. It's thick. I really do like this desk. Solid build. You got questions? I got answers down below in the comments, man. I'll be active down there checking it out. But make sure you guys do subscribe. Slap that like button down below. I got some big things that I want to unbox. And uh, stay tuned for some big upgrades to the setup in the next coming days. I can't say anything, but they're big, man. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you to Anthro Desk down below and everybody else that sponsored the channel. Thrustmaster, Wheel Stand Pro, Fanatic, right? You guys all know, man. Huge thing once again. I'm out. Peace.